Boo to you and you and you and you. Happy Halloween. Boo to you and you. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Rowan. So since September started, I've been all about the Halloween stuff. Usually when September rolls around, I will have my whole house decorated in Halloween stuff. I'll have the outside a little bit started just because pumpkins are not out yet. So most of my display every year contains pumpkins. So it's not fully decorated yet, but it's getting there. So I don't know about you guys, but once like August ends and September 1st rolls around, even before September 1st rolls around, like just like the ending days of August, I get so excited for the fall season. Everything about it I just love. I love dressing up. I love the Halloween goodness. I love the Halloween movies, the Halloween decor. It just makes my heart so happy. So for today's video, to start off the Halloween season, I thought it would put you guys in the Halloween mood if I shared with you guys my Halloween figurines. All of these figurines are from Jim Shore. If you guys don't know who Jim Shore is, he designs Disney figurines and he does all movies. He just keeps coming out with even more and more beautiful ones. I love his work so much. I try to buy one maybe one every two, three months. They are a little bit pricey, but when you see them, you'll understand why they're pricey because the detail in them is so gorgeous. So I do want to, down the line, do a big figurine collection, but I thought since it's the Halloween season, I thought it would make a lot of sense to show you guys my Halloween figurines. That way I can like break it up into different parts. And then when Christmas rolls around, I can show you guys my Christmas figurines. So I don't want you guys to be sitting there for hours and hours on end watching me show you guys these figurines because they are very intricate there's a lot of detail in them I want to take some time like describing what they look like and why I chose this specific figurine and what it means to me so I started this collection about a year and a half ago or maybe two years ago it could have been two years ago so we're just gonna get started and I'm gonna get a little bit closer to you guys so that you guys see what it looks like so the first two figurines that I bought for my Halloween collection were Jack and Sally so I'm a very big Nightmare Before Christmas fan I watch it maybe a million times during the months of September and October. And honestly, I watch this movie even when it's not Halloween because it's just that awesome of a movie. So this first figurine is of Jack and he's sitting on that hill that is really creepy and weird in the movie. And obviously Jack himself is sitting on the hill and he's holding up his little spider paper thing that he tried to make into a snowflake but it just kept coming out as a spider. And I don't know, just the detail on him is gorgeous. His outfit is so just on point. Yeah, so that's Jack. So Sally's a very meek and shy person. She doesn't like being in the spotlight. As you guys know, she was like loving Jack from a distance. So I do think that her whole stance in this kind of resembles who she is as a person. If I'm not making any sense, I'm sorry. But like she's very closed off, she's sitting down, she's holding the flower that turns into a Christmas tree and then burns up. You could just see all of the little designs on her dress. It's just perfectly stitched. It literally looks like she's stitched but as a figurine. And even the detail in her hair as well. Like honestly, everything about this is gorgeous. You could see the stitching in her eyelashes, her mouth, her head, her neck. <laughs> needed to get these two together because we all know that they're simply meant to be. You cannot separate these two. So I am planning to get more Nightmare Before Christmas figurines in the future, but for now these two will suffice. So these next three figurines are actually a set. They came all together. So these are the three little rascals that Jack asks to get Santa for him. I don't know their names. I think it's like Shop, Barrel, and Roll or like I don't know, shocks, I don't know what their names are. I'm gonna start off with this one. He's holding up a pitchfork, he's on a pumpkin. All of them come on pumpkins and they're kind of like the stem on the pumpkin. I don't know what his name is. I'll probably put it on the screen because I'm too lazy to Google it right now and I don't want to pretend that I know their names because I really don't. And then here is the other one. He is holding up the lollipop that he has in the movie and he's also coming out of a pumpkin. He looks very freaky looking but honestly the perfect for the Halloween season. And then this little cutie over here is also coming out of a pumpkin. Each pumpkin has a different face on it and she's holding up a slingshot. Her hair as well, like these are so fragile as well, like you have to take really good care of them. You can't just like leave them lying around for anybody to touch because they will break. And like I said, these three come in a set. And they were only like $25, which I think is nothing for three of these. 
They are quite small, but still, they're little kids, so they're supposed to be small. So the next figurine that I'm going to show you is so so cute. I bought this last year for Halloween and they're so cute. And it's Mickey and Minnie and they're dressed as candy corns. I don't even know what to say about this because they're so cute. I'm not a very big candy corn fan. As Lindsay from Ears to Mickey will know, I think they're absolutely gross. I don't like the taste of them. They're too sweet for me. They don't taste good at all. Sorry, Linz, because Lindsay's a very big candy corn fan. Minnie is dressed in candy corn colors. Like, honestly, her whole outfit resembles a candy corn. Her stockings, her dress, her hat, her bow, and she's holding up a little pumpkin bucket, and even her eyeshadow is orange. And Mickey is dressed like this kind of farmer candy corn guy because he's wearing overalls and he also has a candy corn hat and they're just looking very happy together and very stylish and they just look so adorable. So this last figurine is actually a lot larger than the candy corn one I just held up. As you can see, this one's quite a bit larger than this one, so this one is a little bit more expensive. So this one is of Mickey dressed as a magician, and Minnie is dressed as a witch. And again, like I said, all of the detailing in their outfits are gorgeous. They're holding up a very large pumpkin. You can see the bat on Mickey's outfit, his cape. You can see the stars and moon on Minnie's hat. I just love everything about this. His figurines are so beautiful. I'm not describing it the way that I want to because I, like I said, I'm not a very good person that describes things. If you want to watch somebody who is awesome at describing things, go check out Disney Kitty because Disney Kitty knows exactly what to say about everything that she buys and I'm just kind of like here like, oh, they're holding up a pumpkin. Her dress is purple. <laughs> So as I was filming yesterday, I completely forgot to show you guys this figurine and it's of Eeyore dressed as a mummy and he's holding up a little orange bucket to go trick or treating and he looks absolutely adorable. This is my favorite Halloween figurine that I bought this year. It's just so cute. Everything about it is adorable. I love the fact that not all of the toilet paper or whatever it is that he's wearing as the mummy is not covering his entire body. So I just wanted to share that with you guys because I wanted you guys to see what he looked like. Let me show you guys is how I display my figurines on my Halloween shelf. So up here you could see I have my Nightmare Before Christmas figurines. This is actually my Nightmare Before Christmas shelf. I just have a bunch of Tsum Tsums that are Nightmare Before Christmas. The string art in the middle of Jack and Sally on the Hill is from Made by the Needle. And then going down here, I have more of my figurines. You could see the Mickey ones. And then going down here, I have Eeyore. There's no theming I have on my shelf. It's just whatever I think works together. And I just wanted to show you guys what that looked like. So as I mentioned before, I get all of my figurines off of Amazon just because I think Amazon is the cheapest place to find these. I have seen them at Hallmark, but in Hallmark they are a little bit pricier, and I do think that Amazon is very reasonable with their pricing. Obviously some of them are going to be a little bit more expensive than others. If you guys really like this, please let me know. As I said, I will be doing a like winter Christmas figurine gym short collection once Christmas rolls around, and I do want to do an entire, um, maybe I'll make it a two-parter, showing you guys just my regular like Disney figurine that are not really themed to a holiday. I have these displayed all over my house. Some of them I take out during the holiday season. For example, these come out only when Halloween is around. My Christmas figurines come out when Christmas rolls around, so it really depends on the season. But every other one I do have displayed somewhere around my house. So let me know which was your favorite figurine. I had a lot of fun doing this. I love sharing my collection with people, especially when it comes to Disney stuff. And you guys know I have a lot of Disney stuff. So I love sharing my collection with you guys because I feel like you guys can appreciate it with me because other people are probably like, why would you spend all your money on that if they don't even do anything? They do do something, okay? They bring joy to my life. I like to see them when I'm walking around in my house. They make me happy because they're Disney related. Stay tuned for more Disney figurine collection videos. I'm gonna be doing a couple more, like I said. Have a spooky night. I am loving this look. I'm gonna be doing a little promo right now for you guys um, because I get a lot of questions about where I get my clothes. 
So I've been on a boohoo craze recently. Yeah, so like I said, it's just like a regular black dress. It comes all the way down. It has like a little design and I'm wearing it with a pair of ears. This would be awesome to go to Magic Kingdom during the Halloween season. I gotta say, I need to move to Florida as soon as possible because I just feel like New York doesn't, it doesn't fulfill my Disney needs. Cause I would love to be going to a park, you know, to a Disney park every couple days, like the Florida locals, like Patty. The lipstick is ColourPop. All of the lipsticks that you guys see me wearing is from ColourPop. I think this is Mimsy, the color Mimsy, and it's like a dark purple kind of thing. And I did my eyeshadow purpley and gold. And these ears are from Mouse Couture. Yeah, so if you guys are wondering where all of these stuff was, what I'm wearing, I feel like nobody literally cares. Like nobody cares what I'm wearing, but I'm just letting you guys know. Okay. <laughs>